It's a little bit funny, this feeling inside. I'm not one of those who can easily hide. Don't have much money. 
my neighbor Boy, if I did I'd buy a big house where we both could live If I was a sculptor But then again, no Or a man who makes potions in a traveling show I no, it's not much, but it's the best I can do. My gift is my song, and this one's for you. And you can tell everybody this is your song. It may be quite simple, but now that it's done, I hope you don't mind, I hope you don't mind that I put down in the words. How wonderful life is while we're in the world. I sat on the roof and kicked off the moss. Well, a few of the verses, well, they've got me quite cross. Well, the sun's been quite kind while I wrote this song. It's for people like you that keep it turned on. So excuse me for getting, but these things I do. You see, I've forgotten if they're green or they're blue. Uh, anyway, the thing is, what I really mean. Yours are the sweetest eyes I've ever seen. can tell everybody this is a song it may be quite simple but now that it's done I hope you don't mind I hope you don't mind that I put down in the words how wonderful life is while we're in the world I hope you don't mind I hope you don't mind That I put down in the world How wonderful life is While we're in the Hi, class of 2020. Congratulations on this amazing accomplishment. I know your class have had to, to battle through some rough times recently, but I appreciate all of the positive attitudes you've had throughout this process. Congratulations, class of 2020. Uh, I would wish you luck in your future endeavors, but you don't need luck. You got skills. Great job, seniors. My family and I hope that all your dreams and aspirations come true. Don't forget. Once a part of the pack, always a part of the pack. Make the most of it. Hey, Wolf Pack, to all my seniors, I just wanted to say I miss you guys, I love you guys, and I hope you're all doing well. And congratulations to the class of 2020. I'm gonna say congrats, Wolf Pack. Congrats, Wolf Pack. You're broken down and tired of living life on the merry-go-round. And you can't find a fighter. But I see it in you, so we gon' walk it out Move mountains We gon' walk it out and move mountains When the silence is in quiet 
And it feels like it's getting hard to breathe And I know you feel like dying But I promise we would take the world to its feet Move I won't dance Bring it to its feet Move I won't dance And I'll rise up that we have each other Congratulations, class of 2020. We are very proud of you, and we can't wait to hear about the wonderful things you will accomplish. Felicidades. Congratulations, class of 2020. Oh, the places you'll go. Go out and make Great Oak proud. Class of 2020, as you go out into the world, 
I want you to remember the four keys to success from my class. Work hard, be nice, make good choices, and always have time for a dance party. You did it class of 2020 and we need you now more than ever. We need your minds, we need your hearts, we need your passion, we need your compassion. Make every day count because it's a gift. Félicitations à la classe de 2020. Nous sommes très fiers de vous. Hello class of 2020, this is Mr. Robinson. I just want to take a minute and tell you congratulations and I'm proud of you and I wish you the best of luck in the future. And I want to give a special shout out to Grace Garcia. I love you and I'm very proud of you. Congratulations. I want to just say wherever you go, there you are. And that's why I encourage you guys to be the best version of yourself every day. Congratulations class of 2020, you made it. I'm so very proud of everything that you've achieved and I really can't wait to see where your lives lead you. May you have as much happiness, spread as much kindness, and I'm so excited for the next step in your journey. Enjoy it all, and congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020, from everyone in the Honest Ed family.
Welcome to the class of 2020, honored guests, parents, and other members of the Wolfpack community. Good evening, everyone. I'm Savannah Bramwell. I'm Morgan LaRosignal. And I'm Carson Rose. Welcome family, friends, and loved ones to the commencement ceremony for the graduating class of 2020. As the Wolfpack student body presidents, we would like to take this opportunity to congratulate each and every one of you on this huge accomplishment. Although we aren't able to all be here together, it is still important that we celebrate our graduating class on such a big milestone in our lives. We are so honored to say that we attend such an amazing school filled with equally as amazing students. On behalf of the graduating class, we want to express our gratitude to all of those who have supported us through our educational journeys. Coming in as freshmen, we were constantly told to leave our mark on Great Oak. Do something memorable, influential, inspiring, inventive, or just plain goofy. Now, as we reflect upon our Great Oak experience for the last time, we must remember the impact each of us has made here at Great Oak and remember those who have helped us along the way. We would not have made it here tonight without your guidance and encouragement. At this time, we would like to introduce the honored guests that you will see within our graduation program. Mr. Timothy Ritter, Superintendent. Dr. Christy Rutz Robbins, TVUSD School Board Member. Mrs. Lori Ordway Peck, Assistant Superintendent, Business Support Services. And Mrs. Amy Ricken, our Principal. At this time, Class of 2020, family, and friends, please rise for the presentation of our colors. Senior members of the Great Oak High School Chorus, under the direction of Sang Park, singing the Star Spangled Banner by Francis Scott Key. And now, please welcome seniors Alyssa Lashavo, Alex Miller, Adam Remmers, Augustin Resendez, and Nathaniel Sanders performing Hey Jude by the Beatles. Hey Jude, don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it better. start to make it better. Hey Jude, don't be afraid. You were made to go out and get her. The minute you let her
we'd like to introduce our class of 2020 senior speakers, Robert Bautista, Evelyn Homan, Nishal Sinha, and Jordan Walker. Good evening, parents, teachers, friends, and graduating class of 2020. I'm Jordan Walker, and even though I was more than qualified to graduate, I was honestly starting to doubt the, that this day would come, thanks to coronavirus. All 751 of us have endured and enjoyed these past four years here at Great Oak High School. For me, it was from moshing in the red wave, to, to eating lunch in 310 with Mrs. Ebel and Mrs. Wold, and of course, setting a personal 400 meter record during tardy sweeps. Doug Souls, if you're listening, I'll accept my varsity track letter now. I've had a plethora of hardships where I thought, is the tassel worth the hassle? And prosperities that reassured me that I was something bigger than that Algebra 2 test I'd failed back in my junior year. Mr. Morton, thank you for finally teaching me how to graph quadratic equations. Throughout my years on this campus, I have learned that we're all going to make mistakes and we're all going to fail. It's up to us as individuals how we handle these setbacks and failures. For example, with this coronavirus pandemic, we have a choice. We can either dwell on the outcomes that we simply cannot fix, or we can try to make the best of them. Life isn't always going to go according to plan, and we need to take the opportunity to learn from the lows as well as the highs. Anyone who knows me well knows that I'm an advocate for future planning. Even at the age of four, I was planning on what I was gonna be wearing at my own graduation. And let's just say four-year-old me would be really disappointed I'm not wearing a pale yellow sundress with blue flowers on it. Okay. At the beginning of my senior year, I pictured that I'd be cruising through my classes, checking myself out of school as often as I could, and walking across the stage as my name was called. However, as I mentioned, plans change. While we don't get to walk across the stage live in front of our friends and family, at least we don't have to fight over graduation tickets, especially with my massive Mormon family. We can either dwell on the negative and let that determine our mindset, or we can focus on what we can control and let that propel us into our future plans. Our generation is often told that we need to savor the moment and not be so absorbed with technology as we're having a virtual graduation. So let's relish this moment of all 751 of us sitting here with our loved ones in our living rooms, surrounding a screen, waiting to throw our caps up in the air. Let's celebrate those wins and learn from the losses over these past four years here at Grodek High School. Even with two diseases, coronavirus and senioritis among us, we still managed to graduate. This is one of the biggest wins we could have right now. Class of 2020, we did it. And for the last time, I wanna wish you all a great Oak Day. Thank you. Hello, class of 2020. My name is Evelyn Homan, and let me tell you, writing a decent speech is very, very hard. As I wrote this one, I threw around a lot of ideas that would make my English teachers very proud. Comparison of life to books, character arcs, happy endings, etc. But it all came out incredibly corny, so instead I'm going to talk about the color red. I don't think that there is anyone at the school who has not become familiar with the color red in the last four years. It's our main school color, it's the color of fire trucks and the coldest stars in the universe. But anybody with far more brain cells than I currently possess could tell you that there's a lot more to red than just that. Red is incredibly symbolic in many cultures. In Eastern cultures, it's symbolic of luck, prosperity, and a long life. In Russia, it's associated with revolution. And here in the West, we associate, associate red with passion, energy, and even danger. So why am I analyzing a color for a graduation speech? I think there is a lot of symbolism in all of us sitting here right now in the color of luck, revolution, passion, prosperity, and all those other things. Red is the color of our community who possess all these traits, or maybe they're ones that we long to have going forward. We are wearing red not just because it is our school color. We're wearing red to show that we are human. We bleed red, and we're all connected by our humanity. We have the power to revolutionize things in the world and to create prosperity in our own lives. 
we have the chance to face danger and find love and pursue our passions in any way that we choose. Red has bound us together for four years, and it's the color that's blessing us as we go on into our future. We won't remember every red wave event, but I hope we remember the sense of community that it gave us. Chanting with Mr. White, or well, Mr. Red, and dancing in the bleachers, watching our football team sprint out in glory, wondering if this will be the homecoming game that we finally win. And the Fridays where our school was a sea of red shirts, tutus, wigs, and hats, desperate to get in and out, or that coveted fourth period pizza party. Red, in short, brought us together to make all these memories that we will remember for the rest of our lives. Now, as we sit enrobed in this unifying color, we get to graduate and go out and change what needs to be changed. We are the red wave. We are spirit, and we are spirited. Nothing can stop us if we apply everything this seemingly simple color has taught us for the last four years of our lives. We bleed red, class of 2020. Let's go show the world the real power of the red wave. Friends and family, all 15 of you actually here. My name is Robert Bautista, but I'm sure that most of you know me as Rocky. To the class of 2020, I would just like to say, hey, we made it. I, I know that they always say it's not about the destination, but about the journey. And I think that especially applies to our graduating class this year. I, I think that this is certainly going to be the year to remember. And what I will take away most from all of this is how absolutely brave each and every one of you are. I know it's tough to not think about all of the things that we didn't get to do in these last few months. However, we cannot forget about the absolutely incredible memories that we have made here these past three and a half years. At this school, I've made memories and relationships that I know will last for the rest of my life. Memories like breaking those very bleachers at my first football game, covering my friend's chemistry notebooks entirely in doodles, making the absolute least waterproof boat in physics and taking over Mr. Wolf's classroom every single lunchtime, even though I never once had him as a teacher. For the three and a half years that we have walked these halls, three and a half years that went by in the blink of an eye, I have had the absolute best time of my life. And so my message to the incoming seniors, juniors, sophomores, and freshmen is don't wait. Introduce yourself, try out that sport, do your homework, audition for that play, ask her or ask him. Life will fly by faster than the speed of light, especially when you go to an amazing school like Great Oak, my home. To quote Dr. Seuss, and don't worry, I'm not going to rhyme, sometimes you will never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Thank you. It is a rare occasion for so many diverse people to come together and share the same moment for a single shared purpose. For this exact group of people that has only happened once before, four summers ago in the beginning of August in a hot, sweat-packed gym. In that uncertain moment, we were given a new bar to rise to. Our challenge then was to put the great in Great Oak, to come together and make our permanent mark. That challenge was fulfilled. It has led us to build Air Force recognized drone programs, to skyrocket the prestige of our academics teams, and to climb to the precipice of a national championship in cross country, among so much more. It has also led us to personal bests, long nights pushing ever harder to bump up that grade and better our own future. This was our answer to that uncertainty. But the past three months have made it exceedingly clear that we are subject to much more turbulent, uncertain forces than that. Our economy is in free fall, forcing many of us to grapple with the reality of a fickle job market earlier than we could ever imagine. Our social norms are betrayed as our instinct to hug and embrace once this crisis is over is suddenly a cruel taboo. Thus, when our doors open, and our doors will open, it will be into a world turned upside down. It is still, however, a world we can learn to thrive in. Yes, life has dealt us our cards and it has shown the very worst of its hands. That means the gauntlet has been thrown, 
Our challenge has been set, and all that is left is a question. Will we rise to meet it? And now, it's my privilege to present to you our principal, Ms. Amy Ricken. Welcome to all the members of the governing board, staff, family, friends, and most importantly, the class of 2020, who are watching our virtual graduation from homes across Temecula and beyond. While we aren't together in the stadium tonight, I believe that we are all together in spirit. I'm thankful to the amazing staff of Great Oak High School who volunteered their time to create the most meaningful graduation experience we could given our current circumstances. Watching our seniors be recorded as they cross stages in the stadium today, it was clear that they were able to find joy in celebrating this special moment at the end of their senior year. I wanna keep adding to that celebration because the class of 2020 has given us so many memories over the last four years. Being a member of the Wolf Pack emphasizes the important relationship between the individual and the group. Over the past four years, the class of 2020 has personified this meaning by excelling individually and highlighting the power of being able to work together. I'm in awe of the individual accomplishments so many of you have achieved. Like Joshua Moore, our Great Oak High School Student of the Year and Caitlin Swenson, who battled through several injuries to get to the California State Championship for pole vault. And because of that hard work, despite not being able to compete, like so many of our spring athletes, she will compete for San Diego State University for the next four years. Some of you have overcome incredible circumstances to get to this point. Destiny Lopez, your resiliency and your desire to push yourself to be the best that you can be is inspiring. And we are excited to celebrate your journey to become a special education teacher. And Sage Eberly, your passion for dance turned around your commitment to school and attendance. And we are so proud of how hard you've worked on your self-improvement. The collective impact of the 2020 class is inspiring from the servant leadership of Carson Roos, who never stops working to create opportunities for her peers, to the stellar work ethic of both Kyle Yonker and Bryce Lucas, who have earned themselves the opportunity to play and compete in both football and track and field at Western Colorado University, to the selfless dedication of Henry Dong, who gives his time to almost every performance or presentation held at Great Oak to make sure our audio and video and sound are always ready to go. To the selfless dedication of Fernanda Farragut, a humble servant leader on our campus. To the amazing endurance of Gabriel Abbas, who pushed himself as a cross country runner, but more importantly, created a club on campus supplying athletic equipment for students in need. And within two months of the club's first meeting, he helped purchase a mountain bike so a student on our campus could participate in the Great Oak Mountain Bike Club. We also celebrate the inspiration that Zoe Madronda provided by using her video talents to encourage and motivate her peers. A devastated class of 2020 was transitioning from traditional learning to distance learning. And Zoe provided a much needed spark of light at a time when many of us were feeling only darkness. Thank you, Zoe. The uniqueness of the 2020 class is also highlighted by the vocal talent of Emily Nightingale and Mia San Angelo. Watching them perform in the musical Carrie, this year showcased their amazing skill. And Dean Finn, who sang the solo from Ezekiel Saw the Wheel and is one of Mr. Park's quote, all time favorite tenors. And Nate Sanders, who transitioned from marching band to the jazz ensemble. But upon learning he would return to the marching band in the London New Year's Day Parade on the snare drum, he customized his own drum 
so he could march and lead the drum line through the historic streets of London. We also celebrate the power of the written word from Abby Sabin, who personifies what a student athlete truly is. She will be playing rugby for Dartmouth College. And the multilingual talents of Dylan Rivera, who earned the county seal of multiliteracy for excellence in three languages. And the class of 2020 collectively has a combined 196 state seal of biliteracy winners and 38 Riverside County multiliteracy seal winners. This shows an amazing dedication to language and literacy. Special thanks to yearbook editors, Tatum Ramsey and Amelia Nersessian. Mrs. Cassidy said you were both relentless in making sure we met our final deadline even while working from home. You two helped make our yearbook happen. A personal thank you to senior Angelia Antonucci, who works at Home Depot and helped me find last night the perfect plant to put in front of our podium. Thank you, Angelia. As a direct result of the 2020 class, Great Oak High School has more than 191 active clubs flourishing on campus with over 200 WSB members driving school culture. Peer leaders continue to mentor and work with both incoming freshmen, as well as the support of the social and emotional needs of our entire student population, helping to encourage the Wolfpack Weekly. Elijah Perry, the president of Great Oaks Black Student Union, continued work this year in the area of cultural proficiency with the leadership of the BSU. They hosted their second Forum for Change this past February, and they continue to educate others on the importance of celebrating culture and inclusivity. We boast an AFJ ROTC program that continually earns distinguished unit honors and serves our community selflessly. Athletically, you have won four Southwestern League championships in girls golf, boys and girls cross country, and boys basketball. And who knows how many more we might have earned in the spring had our athletes had the opportunity to compete. Two all-county academic team winners in girls water polo and boys soccer, and a state championship in boys cross country. We had an astounding 38 senior student athletes sign national letter of intents to compete athletically in college. Representing this accomplished group are the 2020 Great Oak High School Athletes of the Year, Audrey Dang and Gabe Abbas. Cole Swires Yeager represents the entire CIF Southern Section with over 550 schools as the Boys Scholar Athlete of the Year. And for the first time in Great Oak School history, Max Preps has ranked the Wolfpack as the number eight all around high school athletic program. This is the direct result of the hard work and dedication of our student athletes, our coaches, and Mr. Ramirez, our athletic administrator, along with his amazing support staff with Mrs. Gorvaz and Mrs. Rose. Thank you for that dedicated work. The class of 2020 has continued the Great Oak legacy of scholarship, the first letter in spirit. Great Oak High School continues to be among the most academically admired schools in the nation. In fact, largely in part to the efforts of this class, we have landed again on both US News and World Report and Newsweek's magazines respectively. We have earned a top 1% nationwide public high school ranking. And Niche.com awarded the Wolfpack a top 100 ranking for California public high schools. And on that note of scholarship, we have a very special teacher retiring from Great Oak this year who has dedicated himself to fostering the success of our AP and our IB students. Mr. Herps will be retiring this year. And in the absence of being able to say this to him in person, we want him to know that his students and the Great Oak staff have been impacted by him deeply. Great Oak 
is a better place because of the first-rate instruction from Kurt Herbst. He will always be a member of the Wolfpack family. The class of 2020 has another impressive college acceptance list. Your class will be represented at Yale, Dartmouth, Vanderbilt, Washington, Texas A&M, University of Chicago, USC, BYU, Cal Poly Slow and Pomona, NAU, and acceptances to every UC from Berkeley to LA to San Diego, and every Cal State University, as well as every California community college in Southern California. Congratulations also to all of our students who are going any place else across the country. We also want to offer a special congratulations to our seniors who will be joining the five branches of the armed services. Thank you for your service. The class of 2020 has left amazing accomplishments that are profound. Their legacy is deep and we won't soon forget the members of the 2020 class. You have navigated experiences that no other seniors have had to and I'm confident that you have the tools to face your future successfully and you will leave your mark on the world no matter what uncertain times we are living in. Like the Great Oak graduates who have gone before you, I know you will make a difference. I know that you will make us proud. Congratulations to the class of 2020. We celebrate you. Thank you. And now I would like to introduce to you, Miss January King for our academic recognition. Good afternoon. I'm Mrs. King, the AP and IB coordinator at Great Oak High School. I'm here to honor those students today who have really reflected the first letter in spirit, the S, that we all know stands for scholarship. This year, our senior class led that charge by example throughout the year and even at the end, engaging in class from laptops and sofas, fighting distractions surrounded by siblings and family pets, sometimes dressed in slippers and pajamas, but they still pulled through. This year, despite all of the challenges, we faced 257 international baccalaureate course and diploma students, took over 875 IB exams, and 1,465 Great Oak students took 2,400 AP exams. So what are those programs? The International Baccalaureate is a rigorous curriculum offered across the world. Candidates for the IB diploma complete two years of higher level coursework, hours of creativity, action, and service, and a 4,000 word research paper. This year we have 71 students who have completed all of the components to stand at graduation as IB diploma candidates. We know they'll be our future scholars and leaders at every level. This year, of course, we have a different dynamic. Rather than being gathered here together with your teachers, coaches, club advisors, and mentors who love and miss you, you're all at home, surrounded by your family, and those who love you unconditionally and forever. So friends and families, let's get out the air horns and trumpets. This is a unique opportunity we should take full advantage of. Wolfpack graduate, when I ask you to stand, please do so, even though it might seem really awkward. Give your loved ones a chance to appreciate and recognize your efforts a chance to hug you and to yell at the top of their lungs. At this time, will the members of our IB family please rise and be recognized? Now even more awkward, please remain standing in your living room there. In addition to our IB diploma program, Great Oak has a challenging and comprehensive advanced placement program. At this time, I want to invite all seniors who have completed at least one AP or IB course throughout their time at Great Oak High School to stand and be recognized for your outstanding commitment to scholarship. Take a bow, you have earned it. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2020. Please welcome Molly Newman, our National Honor Society Advisor and Career Tech Capstone Advisor. Thank you. Hello, graduates. I am Molly Newman, and this year I was lucky enough to be the advisor for the Great Oak chapter of the National Honor Society. NHS is the nation's premier organization, 
established to acknowledge outstanding high school students. It's a lot more than just an honor roll. NHS serves to recognize those students who have demonstrated excellence in the areas of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. These characteristics have been associated with membership in the organization since its beginning in 1921. Members are expected to participate in both chapter and individual service projects that benefit both the school and the community. It takes diligence, commitment, and hard work to succeed in these areas. The NHS Class of 2020 has shown strength and persistence throughout their high school career, but especially this year. They are incredible. I was in awe of their commitment, especially as things got canceled and they were in tears because they couldn't perform their community service. I truly admire the commitment each of our NHS students has made towards something that is greater than themselves. And with that, I would now like to recognize the Great Oak High School NHS Class of 2020. Please stand and be recognized by your family for your amazing commitment. I am proud of you all and cannot wait to see what you will do next. Congratulations. Now as department chair for CTE, I would like to address some amazing capstone students. Our world revolves around a skilled workforce that is passionate, dedicated, and prepared for their careers. Whether you want to be a teacher, doctor, business executive, chef, film editor, or engineer, you all play a critical role in our nation's progress and success. Exposing students through CTE pathways to career options increases the likelihood that they will pursue their passion. They understand that their future is truly limitless. Great Oak High School offers students six dynamic CTE pathways. The courses in these pathways provide students with both hands-on career skill preparation and rigorous academic content. Our capstone students served our community as athletic trainers with our sports teams. They interned in the Temecula City Planner's Office. They ran the Pactron during football games, and they implemented weekly lessons with students at our local elementary schools. I would like to recognize and congratulate the students who have successfully completed the two or three year coursework to become pathway completers in health sciences, engineering and architecture, hospitality, tourism and recreation, arts, media and entertainment, child development and family services, fashion design and information and communication technologies. Congratulations to all of you and thank you for your passion. I would now like to introduce Mrs. Diana Arbon. Good evening. My name is Diana Arban and I am the advisor for CSF. CSF stands for the California Scholarship Federation and it awards students membership based on their academic performance each semester. The motto of CSF, Scholarship for Service, speaks strongly to the mission of the club and to the heart of our nearly 300 members. Today, we recognize 60 seniors who have maintained CSF membership throughout their high school years, and for some, who have gone above and beyond their community service with CSF. I would also like to recognize our CSF Seymour Award finalist, Raymond Lee. He was one of 10 seniors chosen from Southern California for his outstanding leadership and service to his community. The Seymour Award is regarded as one of the highest scholastic honors given to high school students in the state of California. Congratulations to Raymond and all of our seniors who have attained award level status. Please stand at this time to be recognized. I'd like to welcome Aaron Andrade. Good evening. My name is Erin Andrade, and I am the Great Oak High School AVID coordinator. AVID, or Advancement via Individual Determination, is a four-year college readiness program that is designed to increase the number of students prepared to be successful through college and into their future careers. Tonight, it is my pleasure to recognize those students who have been committed to our Great Oak High School family, AVID family, for the complete high school career proudly stand now so you may be recognized. Tonight as you celebrate with your family and friends, 
You're ready to begin the next chapter in your future, having an active and successful college life. Our AVID family represents scholarship at a diverse group of universities, from San Diego State to Northern Arizona, from Cal Poly Pomona to San Jose State. Some of you are going away as far as Hawaii Pacific University, while others are staying close to home to attend Cal State San Marcos. Your passions are a vast canvas of involvement displayed on the athletic fields of baseball, softball, swim, girls water polo, track and field, cross country, the drama stage, commitment to community service, yearbook, step, and providing selfless service to your church. You have lived the very definition of teamwork over these past four years. You have built a family with your avid peers that have endured common experiences from Cornell notes to the involved focus notes, tutorials and TRFs, and the notorious binder check. Through thick and thin, your avid team of like-minded peers have supported you and provided you the strength and endurance through the consistent interpersonal relationships that only AVID can provide. We admire you for completing a rigorous course of classes that have prepared you for college and all that lies before you. Each of you have shown that dedication and perseverance pay off to make your college dreams possible. Tonight we celebrate the people you are and the people you will become. We honor you and all of your accomplishments. Tonight, the AVID teachers, Mr. Mitchell, Mrs. Brennan, Ms. Lira, and myself would like to say congratulations to the extraordinary AVID class of 2020. We wish you the best of luck and bright future. Now, please welcome Colonel Scott Barbarides. Good evening. I'm Colonel Scott Barbarides, and I'd like to welcome the Great Oak faculty and staff. I'd like to welcome distinguished visitors. That would be you, the parents of the graduates. And I'd like to uh, welcome the Great Oak VIPs. That would be you, Great Oak seniors. Congratulations on an incredible journey and incredible honor of graduating one of the finest schools in California, Great Oak High School. Yours is an especially notable honor for you did it under challenging and taxing conditions, but you did this with style and finesse. The staff and the teachers salute you on a job very well done. On behalf of Chief Master Sergeant Jones and Master Sergeant Macias, we'd like to recognize the seniors of California 20052. They have worked extremely hard this year and they exemplify the core values of the Air Force of service before self. For they have led the unit with over 2,300 hours of community service and 42 events. They served over 5,000 veterans over the Christmas holidays and fundraised over $30,000 for the unit. While serving others, they had phenomenal accomplishments under the leadership of Chief Jones and First Sergeant Macias. They earned the Distinguished Unit Award, which was reserved for only 3% of all of the 890 Air Force Junior ROTC units around the world. They competed in major drill competition and they let the hair down and danced the night away at the military ball. Higher headquarters tasked our drone commander to come up with curriculum for Air Force Junior ROTC for next year, which they did an outstanding job. It'll be rolled out next year in the fall and Cadet Commander Amanda Dempsey actually earned her FAA remote pilot certificate. The goal of Air Force Junior ROTC is not only to prepare cadets, but prepare cadets for after graduation. 34 graduating seniors this year from CA 20052 and over a third of them will be serving their country around the world. Two have attained Air Force ROTC scholarships and 13 have committed to college next year. You are all high achievers. You started Great Oak wandering through the halls as freshmen, and you ended as highly accomplished men and women ready to take on the world. Keep going, for what got you here is gonna take you to the next level and beyond. The poet Robert Browning once said, a man or woman's reach should exceed their grasp. Class of, 20, class of 2020, reach for the stars. Go beyond yours or anybody else's expectations. Along this exciting and miraculous journey, may God bless your every step. All the best to you, and congratulations on a job well done. I'd like to now introduce Ms. Crystal Perry. Bonjour et buenas tardes. 
I am here tonight to represent the World Language Department by recognizing the outstanding work of our students based on their participation in either the Spanish or French National Honor Society or the American Sign Language Honor Society. I would like to begin by recognizing the students that have been part of the French National Honor Society under the direction of Madame Vargas. Madame Vargas would especially like to recognize seniors Nish, Dylan, Elijah, Savannah, and Rebecca for being instrumental in growing our French National Honor Society. Their passion and dedication to the French program at Great Oak High School will be their legacy as numbers and interest continue to increase over the coming years. Now at this time, wherever you are, Will the students of the French National Honor Society please stand and be recognized. Best of luck with your next educational endeavor. Y ahora en español, saludos cordiales y felicitaciones a los estudiantes y a sus familias con este logro. I am Profe Perry, a representative of the Sociedad Honoraria Hispánica. The Spanish National Honor Society was founded by the American Association of Teachers of Spanish and Portuguese to promote interest in the Spanish language and in Hispanic studies. This year, many in our department have had the privilege of working with an amazing group of students that demonstrated dedication by promoting cultural events such as the Ballet Folklorico performance and a trip to experience Dia de los Muertos. They've utilized their language skills both within the community, within the classrooms, throughout various cultural presentations, and by peer tutoring their classmates for an overall total of over 250 hours recorded. Will the seniors of La Sociedad Honoraria Hispánica, no importa donde estás, please stand, levántense, and be recognized. On behalf of the World Language Department, we wish you the best in your new journey. Con orgullo y respeto les deseo lo mejor. The final group to be recognized includes the students involved in ASL Honor Society, ASLHS. They have dedicated their time and energy during all hours of the day to be a part of this rigorous academic group. Today, there are two groups of students who should receive our recognition. The first group of students needed to maintain academic rigor in their studies, a minimum of three years in ASL, five hours of deaf community service, and five hours of service in ASLHS, such as hosting deaf events. These students received an honor cord commemorating their time in ASLHS. The second group of students needed to maintain academic rigor in their studies, a minimum of three years in ASL, 10 hours of deaf community service, and 10 hours of service in ASLHS. These students received the highest accolade, the Laurent Clerc Medal. All students involved in ASLHS, please stand and be recognized. Our hope is that our graduating club members will continue to use the French and Spanish languages, as well as American Sign Language, to promote a better understanding and appreciation of diversity. Congratulations, felicidades. Thank you. And now, please welcome seniors Emily Nightingale and Mia San Angelo performing Happy Days Are Here Again, Get Happy by Barbara Streisand and Judy Garland. Forget your troubles and just get happy. Here again, you better change all your cares away. Shout hallelujah. So let's sing a song and just get happy. Get ready happy for days the are judgment. Here again. The sun is
Dr. Rutz Robbins, I certify that the senior class of 2020 have fulfilled all requirements set forth by the State of California and the Temecula Valley Unified School District Board of Education. And therefore, I proudly present to you the Great Oak High School graduating class of 2020. Dear Great Oak High School graduating class of 2020, and my nephew, John Burdick Rutz. Your resiliency and fortitude in the face of these uncharted and uncertain times is inspiring. You will be the greatest generation ever. On behalf of the governing board of the Temecula Valley Unified School District, I proudly accept Great Oak High School's class of 2020. Go and be great.